Well, I went through my reference material and there was this uh, uh, model, that I, Indian model, that I had posed for me back in 2006 on the uh, Little Bighorn uh, with Michael Terry, who is uh, Michael Badhand. He uh, arranges things like this. And those clothes are the ones that he makes and uh, beads, and they're authentic in every style. This is a Blackfoot dress. She's Crow Indian. Uh, you know, that's what her tribe is. But she's wearing a Blackfoot dress. And I was thinking of doing this pose of her holding a saddle blanket. But I think I'm going to do something else. I'm going to use the uh, same dress I'm, I'm thinking. And uh, it's a subject I did many, many years ago, probably 20, 30 years ago. And it was a real small piece. Never really took off with it, but I got an idea of doing it again. And uh, I'll explain as I work on the uh, clay. But that's what I'm thinking of doing is something that I had done a long time ago and I want to revisit the idea. Time to play with some clay. I don't usually come down and work on Saturday anymore, but uh, yesterday was a horrible day for me. I had a bad night sleeping, and uh, it just I did not function well all day, and uh, so I just didn't uh, come down. I'm better today, a lot better. I but just boy, yesterday was just a horrendous day. It took me an hour to get dressed. I just sat there lethargic because I could not wake up. Anyway. It happens occasionally, not too often, but occasionally. I'm just blocking in the arms right now. I did this piece, like I said, many years ago of a young Indian girl, and it was about a third the size of this one. And I always liked the idea. It was a piece where she was holding out a blanket and uh, spreading it out. And the wind was blowing from behind. And I, I think I called it walking with the wind. So anyway, I'm thinking of doing... Uh, that on this one, I don't know if I'll actually do it yet, but it's a thought that I might try it again. Um, I won't call it walking with the wind. I'll call it if I could fly or something like that. I don't know. It's really just formulating in my head right now. And uh, nothing solid going on in my head, but... Of course, there's nothing ever solid going on in my head, but <laughs> it's a thought. Now, I've got to get out of here in about a half hour. I got a late start today because I had to make up for yesterday with a lot of other things uh, because I just couldn't do anything yesterday. I actually thought I was sick, but uh, it turned out I wasn't. I didn't have a temperature or anything. It just was one of those kind of days that uh, happens occasionally.
this is the heavy beadwork that will be on its sleeve and uh, it will hang down from uh, there and uh, this is all doe skin or deer skin uh, it's deer skin dress I'm going to have to do the face and head next time and uh, get that started and then I can work on the dress and all that stuff I apologize for not being completely here today but that's the way it is I know this doesn't make sense to you as far as the uh, dress goes but uh, you got to realize these are made with uh, skins and they weren't tailored like uh, you'd get from the local store. They, they made their own dresses and uh, it had the form of the skin. And I've got to reflect what the wind is doing also from behind. All right, I'm just uh, working on the head separate from the body. It's a little easier to work on. And uh, make sure my head measurement is correct. has to match the uh, proportion of the uh, figure. Well, I gotta take a break and I'll come back next week. I'm meeting some people at uh, 6 o'clock and it's almost 5.30 now. And so I've got to uh, get out of here. Anyway, I'll pick this up next week. I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. And I'll see you next time. Give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.